Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some all else that you can do with wide moves. And if you don't know what wide moves are, they're simply your normal moves, but instead of just going one layer, you go two layer at a time. I know I haven't posted in a long time, but I've recently been really busy and I lost my voice last week, so I really couldn't make a video. But now I'm back and I'm gonna try to be posting a lot as school is off now. Finally, before you get into this video, I wanna say that these algorithms may not be for everyone. Because some of these algorithms may have M or slice moves, and obviously all of them have wide moves. The problem with these is that sometimes they're not comfortable. So you may want to know these algorithms as a backup in case you can't use your main algorithm, or you can just drill them a lot and I'm sure they'll become a lot more natural as you use them. So with that, let's get right into the algs. The first case that I'm gonna talk about is something like this. You have the small S shape, or as some people like to call it, the Z shape, and the specific one has the two bars or blocks here and here. The algorithm goes something like this. It's basically a sune, except some of the moves are switched into wide moves. Make sure to um, do this U with your middle finger. Double flick and back down. This is similar to if you would do it on the left side, but it's simply mirrored. So something like this, a left you soon or soon a. Again, middle finger, double flick and down. Here's the next case. It's most easily identified with the square in the corner here and here. And I'm pretty sure it's the only one that has this trait. But in case it isn't, you also have to bar here in the front and the corner facing away, similarly on the left side. In order to do it, it's just a wide, no, it's just a wide anti sune So basically you can execute it like this. Make sure to double flick like this. It's very similar to the previous algorithm, except again, we tried to do the opposite because it's anti sune If you see something like this with the large S or Z shape, you want to make it so that the bar is facing you. And you might notice that these two are actually the only two cases with the large S or Z characteristic. The algorithm you want to do goes something like this. You see the septal pair, you want to insert it. And then you want to do a slice move back. Similarly, on the left side, you do the mirror. Insert the FTL pair, slice back. This is the large L or night move shape, and you want to make sure that the part underneath the L is not a bar. So as you can see here, these two are not continuous, they are broken apart, and if you do have to bar, it's a different case, but we won't be talking about that in today's video. It's very similar on the right side, or on the left side, so it's a lefty algorithm. We have the broken up bar. The algorithm you want to do goes something like this. You basically want to take out this, I guess you can call it a wide F to L pair. And then you want to do R, U, R prime, U prime. And then reinsert this wide F to L pair. Similarly, on the left side, you do this. Finally, we have the large C case. This one doesn't have a mirror because, well, this is one of the only C cases that have this broken up bar on this side. So if you see one long side of yellow right here, then that's a different case. And again, we won't be talking about that in today's video. You want to make sure you have the opposite headlights right here, and you have this one edge that's facing towards the left. The algorithm you want to do is this. It's a little bit funky, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fast and I personally main the algorithm. That's going to be all of the algorithms I'm going to be going over today. This is obviously gonna be one part of the many OLL videos to come, so make sure to stay tuned for that if you want to make sure you learn all of the OLLs. Before we wrap up, I just wanna say really quickly that I also have a Twitter account now, but make sure to go check that out. It's on the screen right now. There's literally nothing on it, but I'm gonna make sure to fail with some cubing related stuff and some non-cubing related stuff as well, because I don't want to limit myself to only posting cubing. 
and make sure that's at super flip cubing and not at the super flip because apparently that was taken. With that, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys learned something. And as always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.